Hi, so maybe you've seen uh, a comeback in film photography. I know I have. I've definitely seen more people, more frequent users with film photography, which is just so great. Now, the Cinesto 800T, this thing was made and designed for low and artificial light. And honestly, a great thing that makes this so unique is that halation. What is halation? It is basically, in English, halos around lights. You know, that's the simplest way you could say it. Halos around lights. And uh, I don't know, maybe if you're familiar with the, the, with the, with the and I don't know, maybe if you're familiar with the film, uh, you've definitely noticed that red glow around the lights, which just looks beautiful. Like, what other film does that? I have no idea. If there is, let me know, because I want to try it out. But anyways, let's continue. And just because of that ISO, and also that tungsten, that's right. Uh, that's, that's what, right here. Tungsten, tungsten, right there. So, um... You know, what is tungsten? I'm not too sure, but I, what I do know, it is a chemical element inside that film. And that's another thing that makes this film so great. Like, it just makes film so great in general. Like, I feel it is so crazy how complex it is. Like, back then, in the 1880s, when Mr. Kodak made the first photo, film, roll, whatever, and they now, you know, it's just been developing. It's just, I feel, it's just so crazy and I feel that's why it's it's awesome and that's why I feel you really have to appreciate it more because you just it takes more time okay but honestly enough of me talking let's get straight to the photos let, let, let's let's see let, let, let's see what I came up with Now gas stations are, I feel, very popular with the Cinestill film just because there's lights everywhere. It's probably the perfect, perfect place to, to try out that Cinestill. So yeah, look at this. This place just looks real abandoned and that's what we're going for here. We're going for abandoned. I'm wondering, do you think I should try to get... But anyways, uh, check this spot out. This spot is just perfect, man. It looks abandoned, beautiful. Honestly, uh, I've been wanting to shoot this for a while. I'm so glad that I finally got the chance to, and um, can't can't wait to see how these how these turn out. And of course, the main thing you gotta check is if this thing is churning. If it is not churning, oh, if you're in big trouble. Boom! Yes, sir, ski. Alright, so right here, man, it's a little windy. Um, I'm gonna put this for two, for two, uh, tooth of a second. Is that how you say it? Oh, wait, did I, did I cock it? Oh. There you go, hi. All right. It's really bright, so. Um, I am like on my, I still need a little good, uh, 30 photos probably. <laughs>
I did take a photo of this building, but I just had to try it out with the Cinestill. Oh man, I'm pretty sure it looks amazing. Just look at this place. This is look beautiful. Beautiful lighting. I'm literally just walking around with this huge, not huge, but just walking around with this tripod. It's so creepy. So spooked out. Always spooked out. <laughs> Always spooked out. It's like, I'm literally here with this walking around with no one around me. I mean, who knows? Maybe they're here. Like, are you hearing that? I'm just hearing random noises. Oh man. Oh yeah, I always kind of spooked out, but look, I'm just literally just walking around on these empty streets with this tripod. I wonder if I look weird, man. I know, I feel like I look suspicious. It's always spooky, especially when you're by yourself. Check this out, this looks amazing. I'm gonna give y'all a big pointer, man. Big, big pointer. As you see, it does come in a black case, but compared to the clear ones that you usually get uh, when you buy any other film. And there's a reason for this case, you know? Not, not just because of the aesthetics, even though it does look super cool when it's black, but there is a reason for the black case, all right? When, when the camera, the, when the film stock is out of the case, it is known to get uh, light streaks in there. So. So, if, if you finish, if you take out your film stock and you take photos and then you're done with it and you're just letting it chill on the counter for no reason and not in the case, it's gonna, it's gonna mess up, all right? What I advise y'all to do is literally, when you're gonna use it, take it out, put it straight into the camera. When you're done, straight it out and put it right back in. And if anything, if it was me, I would probably just give this film caster to the developer. Just be like, here, take it, you know? Anyways, I promise you, keep that in mind. This is gonna save you time, it's gonna save you stress and money, and we need all of that. We can't waste that kind of stuff, all right? All right, everyone, so, um, all right, so that's it for the video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. But again, thanks again for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Anything is appreciated. Uh, very much appreciated. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. You know, a great thing, um, a great thing about shooting uh, film at night is that you don't have to see anyone, you know? And that's, that's uh, good in some ways especially right now when there's a pandemic going on.